Hello everyone, I am back with a new tutorial. In this I will share the process of creating a simple succulent plant in Blender. I will go through the modeling steps, creating shaders and setting up lighting for the scene. I have tried to keep it simple and easy to follow, so let's start. Starting with the default scene, select the cube and go into the edit mode. Using the transform tool, scale up the height of the cube and move it upwards. Now add 3 edge loops by pressing Ctrl R. Next move them backwards. Scale the width also of all the 3 loops added. I will slightly refine the shape of the object by selecting one loop at a time, moving and scaling it. Next add a vertical loop in the center of the object. Select the top edge and move it upwards. Now select the bottom two faces and scale them inside. This will be base of our one plant leaf. You can change the shape as you like. Now add a subdivision modifier by pressing Ctrl 3. This will add a 3 level subdivision modifier and right click on the object and select smooth shading. We are going to reuse this same object to create the other leaves of the plant. Shift D to duplicate the object and rotate it. Repeat this same process and create about 3 more copies. Select all 4 objects. Shift D again. Make them bigger using the scale tool and rotate them. Slightly move the new bigger 4 objects below the existing ones. Now using the same method, I am going to create two more groups but this time smaller ones to fit inside. It is totally up to you how many groups you would like to make. If you notice some parts intersecting with each other or not properly positioned, using the transform tool, move the parts so the objects are looking nicely fit with each other. You can also change the pivot point axis from the top menu from global to local making it easier to rotate and transform. Next, press A to select everything and move it upwards. Now we are going to create a base and a container for our plant. Create a cylinder object and change the sides to 12. Scale it up. Isolate the cylinder so we can easily focus on this object. Select the top face and make it bigger. Press I to create an inset and then extrude the face downwards, scale it inside to define the shape more. Now add an edge loop in the top part the lower part one inside near the top now select the top outside faces press alt e for extrude menu select the option extrude along normals and move the selection outside to create a small extruding area Add one more loop below the extruding area. Ctrl 3 to add a subdivision modifier, right click and smooth this object. Now to create an inside flat base, go into the edit mode, select the inner edge loop on top, press F to create an inside face, press P to separate this face from the container object. Exit the isolate mode and select the two objects just created. Move them so they look positioned just below the plant object. Next for the ground, it is very simple. Press Shift A and add a plane, scale up the plane and make it bigger.
Press Z and select Render option. Our scene will become grey and we'll be using Eevee as the rendering engine. We are going to set up a HDR map for lighting. For this, go into the world panel. From the color option, select Environment Texture. Browse to the HDR map and select it. The map I have used is from HDR Haven and I have added a link for it also in the description below. You can use any other HDR map also. It is better to use something with daylight or sun in it. Now I am going to add some materials for the different parts. We will use 4 materials here. Starting with the ground plane, I will apply a basic blue material. For the container, I will apply a orange color material. For the inside base, I will apply a darker brown color material. Finally, for the plant part, I will use a green color material. Try changing the roughness and subsurface values for this one. To improve the visual quality, in the scene properties, turn on ambient occlusion. Increasing the distance value will make the contact shadows more better. For the scene lighting, I will add a sunlight. Rotate the direction of the light so it matches roughly with the HDR map lighting. Increase the strength to make the shadows more visible. The ground shadow of our plant object may appear to be not fully shown. To fix this, simply increase the end distance so it is fully visible. Change the color of the light to orange. Going back to the scene properties, I am increasing the ambient occlusion distance more. In the shadow options, turn on high bit and soft shadows. In color management, in the look menu, select medium high contrast. All these small adjustments help in improving the visual quality and everything will be visible as you make these changes. Coming back to our main plant shader, I will split the view and change the other window to shader editor. You can zoom in in the 3D view also so we can see our shader changes clearly. We will add some nodes here. First node will be a mix shader node. Add a color ramp node. A separate XYZ node. Mapping node. And finally a texture coordinate node. Start connecting the nodes as I have shown here. Texture coordinate will connect with mapping vector node. Mapping vector will connect with separate XYZ. Drag a connection from the Z option to the color ramp node from color ramp to mix shader. From the main shader, connect to the mix shader node. I will change the colors of the sliders in the color ramp and dragging them closer.
As you drag one slider, you can see how the color is distributed from top and bottom part. Try any color combination you would like to make. Start changing the subsurface amount and color in the material. Increasing the amount will cause more light to pass through. You can try different values here. We are going to add some more details to this shader. For this add 3 more nodes. A mix shader node, color ramp node and a noise node. Connect the noise into color ramp. Mix shader output to the previously created mix shader. Change the scale and color to blend it more better with the main color shader. Drag the sliders to show the noise texture. I'm trying to keep this shader very simple for this tutorial and I would highly recommend you experiment with different values and colors as it is all procedural to make it as you want. Last part, it is totally optional. We will add some more detail to the base object which we created earlier. Select it and isolate it. In the texture panel, Create a clouds or a noise texture. Now open the modifier panel. Apply the subdivision modifier, changing it to 5 vibrations. Now select the displace modifier. Pick the clouds texture we have just created. Reduce the strength of the displacement. Right click on the object and select smooth option. Exit the isolate mode. This completes the tutorial. I wanted to keep this short and easy. The techniques that I have shown here are just one of different ways of creating content in Blender. From this point, you can always make your own refinements to the model and shader. I hope you would have found this tutorial useful in some way. Let me know in the comments below about your views, requests and I will be happy to reply. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to see more content in the future. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.